Hi guys, what's up? My name is Riley and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a licensed cosmetologist in the state of California. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you should go ahead and do that as well as follow my Instagram right down here. I get asked all the time about product recommendations for blondes, what my hair care routine is, how I do my hair. So here it is, the long awaited video, maybe. Obviously my hair is blonde, it is color treated. Everybody's hair is so different. And that is why it is important to talk to your stylist about what is needed for your hair. So today, obviously, we're talking about my hair. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a background on my hair. My hair used to be super long. And when I say long, I mean this long. I was getting balayages probably twice a year. It was great and it was fine, but I decided to cut my hair in 2019 in September. I'll insert a picture of where I cut it. It was still pretty long. And then in September of 2020, I cut it again to about this length. I absolutely love my hair short. It's hard to even picture me with long hair. Like I just love my hair short. <laughs> Can you see my tongue? So obviously I am blonde. I get my hair done about every eight to 10 weeks. So I do have to take care of it. I am naturally a brunette. You can kind of see my roots there. I do wash my hair about once a week. If I wash it anymore, it's way too dry. And I pretty much train my hair so I don't need dry shampoo. So I rarely ever use dry shampoo. I pretty much curl my hair and that lasts me the whole week. And on the few last days that I need to wash my hair, like for me yesterday, I put my hair up in a claw clip because it just wasn't doing it. Now let's go to the bathroom. Let's talk shampoo and conditioner. Obviously I am blonde so I use a lot of reparative products. My favorite that I've tried is hands down Olaplex. I recommend this product to all of my clients who are going blonde because it is super reparative. It doesn't have a ton of like moisturizing agents so if you feel like your hair is really dry from the bleach I definitely wouldn't really suggest this. It will give you the reparative component but it's not going to give you the moisturizing component. A little goes a long ways especially with the conditioner. Normally I run out of my conditioner way before but as you can see with Olaplex they're pretty much at the same height. The shampoo is just a little bit above. I only wash my hair once a week so I actually like to shampoo twice and as you can see I still have so much use out of this shampoo. It is important that every couple months you are switching up your shampoo just because your hair can kind of get immune to the shampoo you're using and it doesn't get as clean as it would if you're switching it up every couple months. That being said I always recommend professional products so when I get in the shower because I wash my hair once a week I'm going to shampoo and then shampoo again and then condition. But let's talk about purple shampoo. So this is the purple shampoo that I use. It is the Amika Bust Your Brass Cool Blonde Shampoo. When you purple shampoo your hair, do not use this every single wash. Purple shampooing your hair actually can make it duller. It can make it darker. Purple shampoo is really dry. I wash my hair once a week and I use this every other week. When you use this, you also want to shampoo first and then purple shampoo. Purple shampoo is a toning shampoo. It is not a cleansing shampoo. So if you're only using this, your hair is gonna tone, but it's not gonna clean. Another thing about purple shampoo is if you're using it to cancel out any other color than yellow, you're using it wrong. As you can see, the underlying tones to my blonde are yellow. There's no orange, there's no red. If you're using this to cancel out orange, then it's not gonna work. You need a blue shampoo. So with all of that being said, for my shower today, I am going to shampoo with Olaplex, condition with Olaplex, and that is it. I will be shampooing twice. I am not using purple shampoo because I used it last week and I am getting my hair done on Tuesday. So with that being said, I'm gonna go shower. Okay, so obviously I am out of the shower. I've never been one to like wanna wrap my hair in a towel, but obviously we need to add some product and brush her out. So the first thing that I like to use out of the shower is the Moroccan oil treatment. This stuff is an oil and it's a pretty thick oil, so a little bit goes a long ways. I like to just rub that in, honestly, all over. Over. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need a ton. This stuff gives my hair a lot of moisture. Usually then I'll go in with it's a 10, but I got this as a sample. It's the Pureology Serious Color Care Hair Beautifier. But like I said, usually I would use it's a 10. I honestly just ran out of mine and I got this as a sample, so I'm just gonna use this up and then repurchase it's a 10. <laughs> Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with the Kenra blow dry spray and this technically is a heat protectant But it also is oil based so it's gonna give your hair a lot of moisture Usually what I recommend my clients do is going with a leave-in conditioner a oil and a heat protectant I go in with my wet brush and I'm just gonna start detangling my hair as you can see those products have already started that process for me And I really don't have to do that much brushing 
if I was in a rush today, I would probably blow dry my hair about 75% of the way and then air dry it the rest. But I am not in a rush today. So I'm going to minimize that heat damage and I'm going to let my hair dry all the way air dry. So I'm actually going to do my makeup and some chores around the house and then my hair will probably be dry by then and I will come back to you and show you the rest. Okay, so my hair is now dry. It is a while later. I did blow dry it for like two minutes to give my roots some volume and also just to make sure it was completely dry. So now I'm gonna be styling my hair. I've been using this curling iron to curl my hair lately. This is the Babyliss Pro Titanium Curling Iron and this is a one inch. I'm also going to spray a little bit more heat protectant in and then I'm gonna brush it all the way through. I like to section my hair off when I curl it. That way I just make sure I'm getting every piece. I like to leave the ends out when I curl. That way it's like a looser wave. And make sure when you are curling your hair, you're curling away from your face and make sure you don't brush your curls out until the very end. Okay, now that my hair is all curled, none of them have been brushed out yet. I'm gonna be using the IGK 1800 Hold Me Flexible Hairspray. I'm just gonna start kind of moving my root because I like to have a lot of volume and spraying it upwards. Then I'm gonna go in and brush out my curls. This is usually exactly how I like it. Super wavy, a little bit curlier around the face and some volume at the root. And this is my final hair. This can last me up to a week and honestly, all I need to do is touch up my face frames and maybe just a few pieces in throughout here. So this is how I curl and style my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed my hair care routine. If there's any other questions you have, any product recommendations you need, or any other videos you guys want to see in the future, comment those down below. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.